In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your Windows computer to your iPhone and back. What's going on everyone? Uh, if you're new here, my name is Matt Rodriguez. I'm a content creator and consultant as well as a wedding filmmaker. If you're into that and social media marketing and tech, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. So if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're a fellow iPhone user. I myself started out in the Mac family uh, with, with editing and all this creative stuff. However, at some point I realized I need a better system, a more powerful system, graphics card, all that stuff. And I just went ahead and built a PC because it was just much cheaper than having a Mac. Now, the one feature that I loved was AirDrop on my Mac. I can just make a video, edit a photo, and send it right over to my phone for posting on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. And that became kind of annoying because sometimes Google Drive can be cumbersome on the iPhone. Um, although I've gotten used to it, however, I stumbled on something that's way easier, that's way more direct, and saves you more time. First things first, you have to go to the App Store and download an app called Simple Transfer. Secondly, make sure that both your iPhone and your computer are on the same network. That is super key for them to be able to transfer and communicate. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, go ahead and fire it up. It's going to prompt you to open your web browser. You're going to hit Use Web Browser and it's gonna give you two options. You can either type in the web address or type in the IP address. What I would do is type in the simple transfer.app slash connect. Now, once it connects to your device, you're able to access all of your albums as you can see here. At this point, you can basically download anything that's on your phone straight to your computer, or you can just drag things from a folder from your computer onto your phone. Now, a quick pro tip that I really want to get across is that these might sound like a lot of steps and, you know, typing in an address and stuff. However, there's a way that I do it that it makes it like a one-click process. What you want to do is create a shortcut on your desktop. Okay, so now to create the shortcut, you're going to go to your desktop and click on a blank space. You're going to right-click on your mouse, hit new, shortcut. You're going to type in the address, simple transfer.app slash connect then you're gonna hit next then it's gonna ask you to custom name you're gonna create it and say I named mine's airdrop <laughs> finish boom it's right here on desktop so now every time you want to transfer things over all you have to do is click on the shortcut opens your browser already there open up the app on your phone and transfer simple as that Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If this video was helpful or valuable, please be sure to give it a like. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Oh yeah. Also, if you like hats and shirts and stuff, be sure to check out my store at the link below. Check me out on Instagram, at MatterVisual, and I'll see you next time.